I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about piperine as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Piperine is an alkaloid extracted from black pepper, or piper nigrum, and is used to increase the bioavailability and metabolism of nootropic supplements and drugs. Piperine was discovered in 1819 by Hans Christian Orsted, who isolated it from Piper Nigrum. Now this is the same Danish chemist who figured out that electric currents create magnetic fields. Piperine makes nootropics and pharmaceuticals more bioavailable by inhibiting the drug transporter P-glycoprotein and the major, major drug metabolizing enzyme CYP3A4, which is active primarily in your liver. Now, piperine does more than just boost the action of your nootropic stack. It acts as a nootropic as well. And in this video, we're going to investigate how piperine can help optimize your brain. Now, piperine, it's an alkaloid extracted from black pepper and we know that it's used to boost the effectiveness of other nootropics and drugs. But black pepper itself is a flowering vine native to southern India. Its dried fruit is used worldwide as a spice and seasoning. Now research has found that piperine can protect against oxidative damage by inhibiting free radicals and reactive oxygen species. Piperine protects against oxidative stress and has been found to have anti-mutagenic and anti-tumor capabilities. But piperine's biggest claim to fame is its ability to boost the effectiveness of your nootropic stack. Piperine's effects are similar to grapefruit juice in St. John's wort. It inhibits the drug transporter P-glycoprotein and the major drug metabolizing enzyme CYP3A4 amplifying the effect of nootropics by preventing elimination in your liver and urine and allowing increased absorption for use by your body and brain. Well first, piperine is an antidepressant. Piperine is a monoamine oxidase inhibitor or MAOI. Piperine inhibits both MAOA and MAOB. Research has found that piperine is as effective as the popular pharma pharmaceutical antidepressant Prozac. Piperine is a profound effect on serotonin in your brain. Piperine has been used, shown in the lab to promote a substantial increase in serotonin in both the hippocampus and the frontal cortex. And this is where it gets interesting. Scientists found that combining piperine with resveratrol provided significant antidepressant action. And this stack also offered relief from oxidative stress, inflammation, and provided neuroprotection. Resveratrol on its own is a good antidepressant, and piperine also provides antidepressive action as an MAO inhibitor and serotonin booster. But when combined, piperine also boosts the bioavailability of resveratrol. This combination is a potent natural antidepressant without the side effects that come with prescription MAOIs and SSRIs. And the second way, piperine boosts bioavailability. Piperine inhibits the drug transporter peak glycoprotein and the major drug metabolizing enzyme CYP3A4. This can have a profound implications on how well and how much of each nootropic in your stack actually gets to your brain. Now your liver protects you by attaching a glucuronide molecule to nootropics and drugs which sends a signal for them to be excreted in your urine. This process prevents excessive levels of nootropic supplements and drugs in your body. But it can also work against your brain optimization goals. Now a great example is curcumin, the bioactive compound found in turmeric. You will not experience the medicinal properties of curcumin when taken on its own. Curcumin has very poor bioavailability when taken as a supplement because of its rapid metabolism in your liver and intestinal wall. 
Researchers in India gave mice two grams per kilogram of body weight of curcumin and tested blood levels over four hours. Very small amounts of curcumin were detected in the blood in the first two hours. Scientists then administered the same amount of curcumin combined with 20 milligrams per kilogram of piperine. Blood levels of curcumin were detected sooner with piperine added and stayed in the blood longer. Bioavailability of curcumin in mice increased by 154% when combined with piperine. The researchers then did the experiment with humans. A two gram dose of curcumin on its own was not detectable in blood samples. But curcumin combined with piperine in humans made a profound difference. Three grams of curcumin combined with 20 milligrams of piperine in humans showed up in blood samples within 15 minutes. And piperine increased the bioavailability of curcumin by 2,000%. Research from hundreds of studies have shown that piperine will boost the bioavailability of nootropics, increase the effectiveness of nootropics, work as an antidepressant, relieve oxidative stress, prevent inflammation, provide neuroprotection, and protect against tumors and cancers. Piperine on its own has antidepressant capabilities, so you may feel your mood improve. Now, if you're using curcumin or turmeric for its anti-inflammatory benefit, you'll likely find that these supplements will be much more effective in relieving pain by adding piperine. You should notice a substantial benefit in the effectiveness of the nootropics in prescription meds when stacked with piperine. Now, some neurohackers report a reduction in anxiety and that can be caused by some with that can be caused by some supplements by taking it with piperine. Now if you are dealing with arthritis you may find that pain levels will decrease by using piperine. This nootropic is a potent anti-inflammatory even on its own. And you may be able to reduce the amount of some nootropics and med medications by stacking them with piperine because the effectiveness of most of these supplements and meds will get a boost by combining them with piperine. Now, we've got plenty of research on piperine and black pepper extract. So if you want to see details of some of these clinical studies, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for piperine. Or click on the link below this video. There I've got a link to a study on how piperine potentiates the effects of curcumin. Another one in more detail. I've got one on how piperine can be used as an antidepressant. And I've got another clinical study on how piperine protects against Alzheimer's. So again, to see these clinical studies in detail, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for piperine. The recommended dose of piperine to enhance bioavailability of nootropic supplements is 5 to 20 milligrams a day. Now, many nootropic stacks uh, have some in some supplement formulas like curcumin, turmeric, and resveratrol already come pre-stacked with the appropriate dose of piperine. Piperine is an extract of black pepper and is considered non-toxic and safe to use at recommended doses. Piperine potentiates the effect of nearly all nootropic supplements and prescription medications. So be aware that boosting the effects of certain supplements or drugs could produce unwanted consequences. Be cautious of using piperine in addition to piperine that may already be in some of your supplements. Too much piperine will not only amplify most of the supplements and drugs you're taking, but it also could negate the effects of some. Bioperine is a patented form of piperine made by Sibenza Corporation and licensed to other supplement manu manufacturers to include in their formulas or as a standalone product. It's the only source that I'm aware of who have clinical studies to back up their claims of safety and efficacy. Now, you can also get piperine by grinding black peppercorns on your food. 
The problem there is that there's no way to measure how much piperine that you're actually using. So my Nootropics expert recommendation for piperine is up to 20 milligrams a day. And that's my report on piperine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for piperine. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using piperine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on nootropicsexpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.